Hi everyone, my name is Barbara. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me again. Today I'm going to show you how to generate a list of worksheet names in your Excel workbook. So there's two stages to it. So let's crack on with stage one. So the first stage is to go to the formulas tab and select the name manager. And what we want to do is we want to create a new named range. And this is going to be the named range that actually stores our worksheet names. So very simply, I'm just going to call that list names and what we need to do is there's a formula that we need to put into this named range and it is this one which will actually get a list of our worksheet names now i'm going to put a link to in the description box so you can copy this formula once you've done that hit ok and hit click so the next stage is we need to get those worksheet names from the array so add a new worksheet And then what you need to do is just create a list of numbers in your first column. We're going to use this number in the next part. So this is step two. What we need to do is hit uh, index because that is the function we're going to use. The array we're going to use is what we just created in the name manager, that array. And the, if you just start typing list or whatever you call it, it'll come up and then you can select it. Hit comma, the row number that we want is one. So select A1 because we select the first number in your sequence and then close parentheses and hit enter. So now we have the first worksheet in the formula, which is worksheets. Then all we need to do is drag down our formula and when you have no more worksheets, you'll see it giving you an error, the ref number, because we've actually ran out of worksheets. I find this really useful to generate a list of worksheet names on the fly really quickly, or I leave it in my workbook. And, and if you add new worksheets in, you can then go back and you can just carry on and drag the formula down and it will take into account your new worksheet that you've added. I hope you find that useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up consider subscribing i leave a link to both of the formulas both the named range formula and the index formula in the description box feel free to use them give them a try i'll also leave links to my excel playlists which include excel tips basic tips vba macros and pivot tables and hopefully see you next time for another excel video thanks for watching